Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Kitty. In this video, I am going to tell a, a story about the time I went on a date, a first date with someone to a concert. So if you guys are interested, please keep watching and don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. I met this guy, we will call him Polar Pop because that's what I'm drinking. I met Polar Pop on a dating site and before you are quick to judge, I know there are some new people on here that don't really know my stories. I am a single mom. My time is very limited. I don't have a whole lot of time to go out and like mingle and meet people and I don't have a lot of friends to like say, hey kitty, I have this friend for you. I have this single friend. None of that. So I do resort to dating sites and... I have met people who have gotten married off these sites, okay? So they're not always bad, but in my case, they're pretty bad. <laughs> so let's get into the story. I usually typically date someone at like maybe four, maybe three or four years older than me, max. And I don't usually go for younger guys just because, especially with native men, I find that younger guys are pretty immature still. They're still they're still living life. They're still wanting to go through their phase and date and do all that stuff, okay? I've done that already. I don't need to do that. I know what I want and I want a relationship, okay? But I'm not going to go on a date expecting a relationship right off the bat. It's just a date, okay? I'm not out searching for a man you know i'm not that's not my number one goal okay it's just fun dating is fun you don't have to take it seriously okay in this case i was bored and it was a summer it was like ending the summer like in august or something like that i've seen this guy before i've seen him on the site but i never really talked to him because he's older than me um let's just say i was like 32 at the time and he was probably like 37, I want to say he was like 37. He was way older than what I typically normally gravitate toward, but he seemed like he had a good head on his shoulder, he had a good job, he made good money, he had his own vehicle, he had his own house, and so I was like, maybe, maybe, like, I need to just give a little kitty, let's just see where this goes, okay? So... We were talking here and there. It wasn't like, you know, it was just talking, okay? We are just talking. And one night, out of nowhere, he just like was like, do you want to go to a concert with me? And I was like, first off, I have done that before. I have done that before. I am guilty. Where I didn't have anybody to go to a concert with me and I randomly asked someone to go with me. And then we became friends. But that's another story, okay? That's a whole nother story. So I am guilty of asking a complete stranger, hey, do you want to go to a concert with me? So when he asked me if I wanted to go, I was kind of like, this guy has some balls. Yes, I'll go. And I was like, what concert is it? And he's like, it's a country, country singer. And I'm like, who is it? And he said, John Party. And I was like, Oh, it's John Party. I don't know. I'm a hip hop girl. I'm an R&B girl. I'm a West Side girl. I don't know no John Party, but it was an experience. I wanted the experience, so I said, "Okay, I will go." And he was like, "Do you want me to pick you up?" I said, "No, I'll meet you there. You better not be BSing me either." He was like, "No." I got ready. I didn't dress up too much. I've never been to a country concert so I didn't know how to dress I just kind of dressed casual but then you know I did my makeup I looked nice um I believe I had like a tank top on like one of those tight ones you know that make you look nice and cute and then I just put a kimono over I think I curled my hair and I was just wearing my makeup and then my glasses um and I went so uh, this concert took place downtown um at the time it was called Arizona Federal something like that it's um I don't even know what that what it's known for but it's a it's a pretty decent size venue okay so I remember when I got there I was like where are you at where are you at and I couldn't like find him and he was like go to this floor go to this section and I was trying to find him and I couldn't find him and then I remember at one time I went and was like 
physically trying to like look and I was like I'm waving my hand you know and, like he wasn't getting it like I can't find him and so I was like you know what screw this this is stupid you know like why am I why am I going out of my way to find him he should he should meet me out here you know whatever and um, I was like you know what I'm just gonna go I was like I'm just gonna go and like if you can't come down here and meet me, then I'm just going to go. And I was getting ready to walk out. I was almost out. And then he called me and he was like, where are you at? He's like, are you really going to leave? Like, I'm right here. I'm waiting for you. So I turned around and I seen him. And I was like, oh, there he is. But he was good looking. So I was like, hmm, he's pretty handsome. And of course, he was Navajo. But I was like... He looks pretty good for like an older guy like I I expected like wrinkles and stuff but I was like he looks pretty good <laughs> we'll forget that ever happened we won't deduct points right now so uh, we went back up and the seats that he had were like really nosebleed but it's all good cuz it's all good it was a free ticket okay so I'm sitting there wondering who this John party guy is and um, I just like people watching more or less. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do. I like to go people watch. I can go to a bar, I can go to Mill Ave, I can go to the mall and just sit there and watch people because I'm just weird like that. And so I was just like looking around, watching people around me and I noticed all the the girls, all the white girls, they were all like wearing like these shorts and they were wearing like boots and they're wearing like little flannel tops and I was like, man, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I knew they dressed up. I would have dressed up, but I don't have no boots, but I was just wishing, okay? And I was, you know, looking down at the bottom, I was watching everybody, everybody was dancing. Some songs started coming on that I recognized and I was like, okay, cool, this is cool, you know, like. I know, I know, I've heard these songs before. He was drinking and I didn't mind because he seemed decent. He seemed like he knew how to carry himself and I don't mind people who drink. As long as you're not sloppy, as long as you're not belligerent and obnoxious and annoying and staggering all over and spilling your drink and just sloppy if you're not none of those things then i don't mind if you know how to handle yourself if you're responsible if you're not out driving drunk it's all good okay so i notice he starts like chugging some drinks down and i'm just like hmm that's the that's the third one and i'm just drinking my water and he's like do you want anything else i'm like no i just i'll just take water and drinking my water and, and then like he kept going back and forth back and forth and I'm like man this guy sure likes to drink huh I just kept a mental note right here like okay and he was like you're not gonna drink are you sure you don't want that thing you don't want a fruity drink? like he kept trying to pressure me I'm like dude I don't drink no more I don't want to drink so you can stop asking me now it got to the point where he started getting drunk and he kind of like started talking loud and just being kind of annoying to like people around us. He was like really trying to talk to me and stuff. I'm like, it's a concert, like I can't hear you. Let me enjoy the concert, you know. When we were um, sitting there, he was like getting his phone out. He kept getting his phone and he kept texting. And I'm nosy. I'm like, I'm the type of person where when you're in a date and you don't text nobody, because I'm not texting nobody. I'm not bringing my phone out, I'm not making phone calls, I'm not on social media, like, I'm dedicating this time to you and trying to get to know you, like, I think it's a big, big turn off when guys are on a date and they're like, get their phone and start, you know, like, no, don't do that, guys don't do that, ladies don't do that, I don't do that, but this guy kept pulling out his phone, probably after like the third time. I was just like looking over, drinking my water and just looking over, you know, giving that corner eye look and he was talking to a female and she was getting mad at him. She was, I guess I used her ticket or something, I don't know. He answered the phone at one point and he was like cussing at her and getting mad at her saying like, I'm already here, you know, you're, you, you didn't want to come, you know, this and that and then he hung up on her and he was like, you could tell he was annoyed and I'm like, okay, this has to be someone like he's dating or his girlfriend or something. I noticed like his phone kept ringing and he kept on ignoring it and he ignore it and ignore it and I was just like, just watching, just act, playing dumb and then out of nowhere, all these text messages come in so I was just like looking 
And one of them, they was like, babe, babe, answer me, babe, are you okay? Like this, I was just like, man, this guy, like, am I the rebound? So I was like, wow, this guy has a lot of nerve. And I specifically asked him, are you single? Are you with somebody? When's the last time you've been in a relationship? And he straight up lied on all those questions. And toward the end of the concert, he had the nerve to ask me, can you drive me back um, and drop me off at my place. I was like, I thought you had a car. And he was like, I do, but I didn't bring it because I'm drinking. And I was like, where do you live? And he lives somewhere like all the way in, like in Buckeye or somewhere. And I was like, no, I live in Mesa and I'm probably about like 15, 20 minutes away from home. There's no way I'm gonna drive all the way to Buckeye, which probably took like 45 minutes and then another hour to get back to my area. Oh, that's just stupid. Yeah, you bought me a ticket, thank you, I appreciate it, but no, I'm not gonna go out of my way to go drop you off. Call an Uber, and he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah, like, he was like, you don't wanna come back to my spot? I was like, no. And he was like, why? And I was like, because you're talking to your girlfriend, like, why, why did you even invite me? You know, you straight up lied to me and he was like, oh, you're mad? I'm like, it's just a waste of time. Like, you could have been honest, you know, or you could have said like, oh, I don't have a date, you know, like, do you want this extra ticket? Instead of like saying like, you know, just making it about me when it really wasn't, you know? And so I already felt stupid for being there, but at the same time, I was like, it is what it is, you know, I already, I at least like got a concert out of it or whatever. Yeah, I just left and he was like, are you really gonna leave? Are you really gonna leave? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Like, I don't want to be stuck in all this traffic, so later, I'm gonna go. It was nice, nice meeting you. You know, I had fun, you know, bye. And then I just left. And he was all texting me saying like, can you come back? Can you come get me? And I'm like, this guy is so stupid. Like, what? Who does that? Like... You make all this money, go buy yourself an Uber or a Lyft or tell your girlfriend to come pick you up. So I came home that night and I remember I googled his name and I found out that this guy has multiple DUI offenses and I was looking at all his mug shots and when I was looking at his mug shots he just looks drunk in all of them and I was just like ew. Ew, there's just nothing that's more of a turn off than someone who is an alcoholic and lies about it. And I was just like, ugh, I'm like, ugh. Anyway, that was my story. At the time, I went to John Party concert and then I found out that this guy was lying about having a vehicle, lying about not being an alcoholic, and pretty sure he had a had some kind of record um on him so a few months later I realized that we have a lot of friends in common that are older people and it was just weird like seeing him on social media and stuff and I don't know it's just weird guys are dogs guys are they can lie and yep that that's my story about the time that I pretty much left early from a concert because he was too busy talking to his ex, trying to get her jealous or something, I don't know. And then he lied about being an alcoholic. Found out that he's been to jail multiple times for drunk driving, so yeah, so that's, that's pretty much not, not for me, not for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you haven't heard by now, Sierra and I are doing a joint channel here on YouTube. We have a whole separate channel that we are going to do. It's called Anti Time. Um, we're mainly going to be focusing on lives and we're going to bring guests on. We're going to have other segments and stuff like that. So if you guys get a chance, go over and type it in like this. Ant dash t time and go subscribe we are trying to build our subscribe count on this channel so other than that thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one bye